Hey everybody, it's me, Tayo, and I'm here with my dear friend, Melba, and we are going to be talking about One Piece Chapter 1032 today. Odin's Beloved Sword. And I got a little, uh, I got a little, um, spoiler today on, uh, a few things. First of all, I know that it is about, uh, Zoro, so this is a Zoro chapter, and I also know that, uh, well, the name of the chapter, because it's, it's, it's on the website I'm reading. I normally like to get the name of the chapter, you know, when I'm actually reading the manga, but whatever, I got it on the website page. It's called Odin's Beloved Sword. So, I mean, just that pretty much tells me it's going to be about, you know, Zoro, because th th he's the one carrying Odin's sword. So obviously, it's going to be about Zoro. And people have been talking about Zoro. I got I don't gotten any specific spoilers other than that, so we're good in that regard. So, without further ado, let's start the chapter and let's enjoy One Piece. Okay, chapter 1032, Odin's beloved sword. We do have a chapter page today, which isn't always a guaranteed. So yeah, always very happy to see that when we get a chapter page. And it looks like it may, it's a, another request, but this time featuring uh, Yamato. Okay, so it looks like she's gathering stuff, some stuff up. May, oh, oh, she's helping an old lady move, and she's got the help of these two little black cat characters. So that's a nice little picture there. Um, cover request by Fakuda Shin Kokoro. Uh, Yamato making a delivery with black cats. Well, that, I, I called it. Oh, it's a delivery. I thought she was maybe moving. But yeah, delivery. Okay, so let's get into the chapter. I just uh, looked at the first panel and I could see something to do with Marco. So that's always nice. Okay, so let's get into it. That... that what's the big idea, Izo? It's, it's a pain to fly you around when I'm injured. Yoi! <laughs> Yoi. Uh, sorry, that announcement about the giant yokai made me feel uneasy. Where where did a thing like that come from? Well, oh, it's the same character. Okay, oh, we got a little we got a little image of a uh, big mom there um, in the foreground. I don't think we're focusing on that. We might, but it seems to be implying that Marco's flying over the battlefield, so we're gonna see a lot of interesting stuff. Um, so keep your eyes open. The castle's on fire. Okay, well, we already knew the castle was on fire, Marco. Uh, try not to get too sidetracked. Okay. The samurai are blocking the way out. Fetch the cannon! We'll be burned alive if we don't get to, the, to that floor. Second basement. Oh, what's this? Young master, clears here. Oh! Oh, okay. I didn't see this coming. So, I guess I should have seen this coming in hindsight because... Obviously, Apu wants to get on Yamato's good side so he can get, you know, another... He can be sneaky and he can get another ally. Because, uh, oh, without allies, what is Apu? And then, of course, you also have x Drake chasing after Apu. Because I think at this point, he's like, I, I work for Straw Hat at least for now, so I need to take care of this guy um, and keep Luffy happy. So, yeah, that's what's going on here. Young Master, please hear me out, says Apu. I told you I'm busy. Quit following me. Apu, you don't know when to quit. Okay, so this is... This is interesting. I really wonder where this is going. Oh, damn. Okay, so the number... The number that we saw in the previous chapter that was interested in Yamato is following them. Whoa, it's one of the numbers. I know it's been a while, but I'm in a hurry. Fuga! Fuga! Ga! So, is he going to attack that her, or is he just following her? Anyway, this is the second floor. The flame. Okay, so this is this is supposedly a Zoro chapter, from what I've seen on YouTube. But it's probably one of those chapters where we're just going through different characters, which is usually how it is. Um, so this is second floor. Uh, the flaming yokai is heading for the lower level of the castle. Huh? Okay, so Yamato. Obviously, just heard about uh, the flaming yokai. He was obviously going for the weapons to blow up the island. So now she's going to be in big. What? Uh, oh! 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 Shit! Oh! Oh! God! Oh! Shock! 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 Oh my gosh! Guys, we're looking at Brooke. 
We're looking at, I think that's Robin? What? A Kush? Oh! Okay, I see what happened here. Um, Rook and Robin are on the run from CP0, and they just landed on top of the number that's chasing Yamato. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. It's, it's, it's so chaotic. I love everything that's going on right now. Um, <laughs> uh, but Melba, what do you think of it so far? Ugh, my bad, Melba. Uh, I'm really sorry about that. But anyway, let's keep moving through the chapter. Do do. Okay, what a cushion. Okay, so um, it looks like Robin and Brooke have landed on the hair of the number. Uh, CP0 are in pursuit, and we scroll down. Uh oh, CP0 are moving in. Oh, what's this? Oh my gosh, is that is that the yokai? Okay, guys, I'm seeing something really weird. Let's take this one panel at a time. CP0 s speeding in. They're coming down for Robin and Brooke. I mean, obviously just Robin, but they're gonna meet, have to fight Brooke to get to Robin. So they're coming down and they're like, they're coming, no choice but to fight. Huh? What in the world is that? So I think that's the yokai or whatever you, what you want to call it that, um, that Tanjiro made. And I think it might be about to attack CP0. So moving down the page, Oh, it does. It does attack them. Oh, damn. I didn't see that coming. Okay, I really... I was expecting... Okay, CB0. These are the most dangerous guys on the sea. So you know that this is bad news. These guys are bad news. What are we going to do? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I'm so scared for Robin. What's going to happen? And then it looks like two of them... I don't know if they're taken out or they might just be slightly damaged. Um, I don't know how durable these guys are. But yeah, they were moving in, and they got touched by the yokai, and now they're on fire. So we'll see how resilient they are. We'll see if they get sent into the... If they fall to the ground, burning like a bitches, or if they act like the Terminator, stand up, and start walking towards Robin, like... Dun-dun-dun-dun-dun! Dun-dun-dun-dun-dun! Okay, okay, so we're moving down the page. Oh my gosh, the, that crazy yokai is descending on not only the CP0, but everyone fighting there. This is crazy, it's huge! Oh my gosh, what's gonna happen? Okay, so let's see. Wah! It's huge! This must be the flame yokai they're talking about. We don't know what it's after, but it keeps going down. Uh, what the heck is that? It's going down? And it passes through walls. Oh, it's passing through walls?! It's passing through walls! This means that this thing is going to get to the armory way faster than Yamato could possibly get to it, and it's going to blow everything up! Oh my gosh, what, what exactly can Yamato possibly do against this threat? Okay, what the heck is going? It's going down, and it passes through walls. This is bad. If it keeps going, it'll set off an explosion midair! The whole island will be gone! Fuga, I need your help with something! Fuga! So, it looks like... Interesting. So, Yamato's getting help from that big numbers guy. Okay. The CP0 agents are behind the wall of flames. Let's hurry. They'll be on our tails again soon. Flash, flash. Ba -ba -ba? What just happened? Lapdogs is the celestial dragon spotted in Kaido's castle. What a scoop. Maybe it'll sell the st maybe I'll sell the story to Morgans. After losing their middleman, Do Flamingo, uh, the government deals directly with You should have kept your mouth shut. Oh shit! CP0 just attacked a poo. Oh my gosh. Guys, characters are getting attacked in ways and by characters that I did not expect. Like, I didn't see I, I know I keep saying this, but... And I said this in My Hero Academia last week, but I'm not seeing any of this stuff coming. This is surprising. Very surprising. Okay, so Apu gets punched in the face by a CP0. Is he down for the count after that? 
A poo! Wait, is Drake saying that? X Drake, I hope you didn't assume that your true allegiance would remain a secret to CP0. <laughs> if you already know, I'm dying to hear your excuse for being here. We're just handling pest control. What the? What's that? Okay, so Super Zero goes in to attack Drake, and then kaboom! He gets hit by. Oh, oh, Apu! Okay, Apu hits him. Apu's down but not out. It's like he's going in to attack Drake, and then Apu uses his ability to hit the CP0, which knocks him on his butt. Damn government assassins! That freaking hurt! Ugh. Ugh. You're still alive? Yeah, I'm sorry, my this this damn chapter is gonna be mostly shock. Like like I I don't know what to tell you people. Shock, shock, shock. Um I'm just surprised by all the actions. And where's Zoro? Must be uh must be something that happens later in the chapter. Okay. Damn government assassins freaking hurt. Still alive. I can use armament hockey, you dumbass. These guys aren't getting off that easy. And you! I knew you were a marine! Cram it. Are we gonna do this or not? Obviously, they picked a fight with me. You started it. Oh! And look at that! Sudden team up! We've got X Drake and Apu teaming up to take on CP0! This is amazing! Oh my gosh! Oh, oh, oh. Wow! Just, just wow! I am really enjoying this chapter so far. Great stuff! Great stuff! Okay. So, uh, what do you make of this, Melba? Yeah, I'm really sorry about that, Melba. That's what I was told. I swear, uh, Soro has to have something to do with this chapter. I, I'm fairly certain. I, I'm pretty, pretty certain, I, I think. Okay, so they'll get what's coming to them. Okay, so that's two members of CP0 taking on X Drake and Apu. Interesting. Didn't see this coming at all. Okay, okay, Melba, this is it. This is your this is your big moment. We move on to the next page, and I can see King circling uh, Onigashima in the sky. I think this is the part where we finally get to Zoro. So there, you can stop complaining and just enjoy. Well, let's certainly hope so. Okay, here we go. Outside, Zoro versus King. Do do do. Okay. What's this? Oh, is he gonna pull the, his, his like horn off of his head and use it like a boomerang? And then Oda's gonna, and then Oda is gonna be like, don't you know that's how dinosaurs work? That's always how dinosaurs work. They got the pterodactyls or pterodons or whatever fucking this dinosaur is have boomerangs on their heads that's how dinosaurs work you could name a lot of these battles that's really how dinosaurs work well i'm sure that's how they work in the world of one piece anyway okay so he's grabbing it now am, am i correct in assuming he's about to use this as some type of boomerang or maybe a weapon of some kind no he's not doing that he's 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 doing something really weird, guys. Like, I am like, what is this? He, he pulls it, and instead of like pulling off a weapon like I thought he was gonna do, he keeps pulling it and pulling it and pulling it, and his face is getting elongated and stretched like, um, like, oh, you know what it's like? Remember that scene in Beetle, if you've ever seen Beetlejuice, you remember there was a scene where like, the ghosts are trying to scare the people out of the house and they like, mangle their faces and they like stretch and warp their faces um this also reminds me of something from spy kids which had a similar thing where they would take a person and they like mold their face like clay and turn it into something weird either way it's just weird stuff is going on with um really really strange stuff is going on with uh king's face right now okay well, let's see where this goes ugh ugh is that thing supposed to be pulled back like that? What? Oh my gosh! Is he doing what I think he's doing? Yes, he is. He just pulled his head back with a lot of force, 
relinquished it, and now his whole head is like, like, kind of like our Luffy attack now that I think about it. His whole head is like shooting towards Zoro at great speed. Tempora! Tempora is the name of the attack, I guess. Okay. Tempora Udon! Well, that caused a lot of damage. Doesn't look like Zoro got hit, though, so that's good. Good job, good job, Zoro. Okay, I couldn't, I couldn't block it. It's like a beam, just like prehistoric times. Oh my gosh, Zoro! Oh my gosh, yeah, it's like Oda is the biggest troll. He is such a massive troll. He's like, he's like, okay, okay, guys, here's what I'm gonna do. All the dinosaurs in Wano, the guys with dinosaur powers, I'm going to make them do the most ridiculous stuff that a dinosaur could never do, and then I'm going to act like it's normal. Like, I'm acting like if you went into a history book and looked up a dinosaur, you'd expect it to, like, you'd expect a, a Triceratops' frill to, like, rotate and circle like a saw blade. You'd expect, you'd expect a damn... Brachiosaurus or whatever. I, I don't know. It's, it's too many dinosaurs look the same, man. But anyway, um, Queen's dinosaur. You'd expect its long neck to shoot out and turn into a snake and leave its body behind. And for this one, pterodactyls or whatever, you'd expect them to like t t pterodons, t t t pteranodons, pteranodons. My bad, it's pteranodons. But yeah, you expect pteranodons to pull their heads back and snap them like rubber bands and that cause great attack. Yeah, don't, don't you know? How stupid could you get? I mean, come on. That's what, that's what dinosaurs do. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe how much of a troll Oda is. It's fucking hilarious. Uh, okay. But anyway, okay. Uh, moving on with King's actual dialogue. Just like prehistoric times. That's how Terra... Pteranodons hunted their prey. Damn it. Is that so? No, it's not. It's really not, Zoro. That is not so at all. He's just fucking with you. Uh, Oda, don't ever change. 360 caliber Phoenix! If I can't find a way to reach him, I'm just wasting my energy. I suppose Pteranodons flew with fire on their backs, too? No. Get your story straight! <laughs> oh, I love these dinosaur jokes. Uh, still, I wonder if... I don't know. I wonder what dinosaur experts would think of this. Would they, Would they like... I think they'd, they'd laugh at it, too. They'd be like, ah, whatever. He's just fucking with us. Um, anyway. That bastard's talking down to me. I've got to knock him out of the sky before I run out of steam. Three sword style. Ugh. Yeah. Kalasutra Great Dragon Twister! Ooh! We got a big attack coming from Zoro. And it looks like a hit. Wait, what's this? He's blocking with his wings? So dinosaurs are basically like dragons. Big lizards with tough hides. You're not wrong, but I'm on another level. Ooh, what's this? I think we've got our hybrid form coming in for the attack here. So... Yeah, that's that's pretty interesting. That's not the right emote. There you go. <laughs> but yeah, I'm a little shocked in this. He's coming in for another sword, another sword attack. And King, man, he's not exactly a swordsman. He just he just does his sword attacks whenever he wants. Um, don't worry, I'll give you a chance to use your blade instead. You're not the only one that craves a good duel. Not a drop of blood after all those attacks. He still has movable wings if in this form. They're not just for show, but I haven't seen him fly with them. And the flames on his back are still burning. I thought he got those features from his devil fruit. Interesting, but I guess not. What's going on here? Okay, oh damn. Looks like this is not good. It looks like Zoro is taking a be a real beating from this guy. Now he's getting launched into rocks? Does he have a fishman or giant blood? No, it's probably a race I've never heard of. I don't think I can win! Zoro! Zoro, no! Please! Zoro, you gotta pull it together, buddy! This is not good. This is not looking good at all.
Okay, scrolling down. Zoro's in, in, in dire straits here. This is looking bad. Without knowing what he is. Uh, what's that sound? A shamisen? No way. Shing? What is going on? What is going on? I'm scrolling down. What's going on? Zoro screaming? Emma? Dome in tears. Whoa, 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 what? What? Excuse me? So it goes over to Zoro, and he looks down at the sword. The sword is, like, catching fire? And, oh, his, oh, no. Oh, no. Zoro's, get, I remember this. When Zoro originally grabbed Enma, it was, like, sucking out his, like, life force or energy from his arm. And it looks skeletal, and that's happening again. Is it saying that he's not worthy of it? Oh, my gosh, this is, this is really bad. Okay, so, but anyway, that's the last we see that scene. But, and then it moves on to something else. What do you mean it moves on to something else? Tayo, you can't just leave me on this. I need to know what happens to Zoro. He's so cool. Come on, Zoro, pull it together. Calm down, Melba. Oda knows what he's doing. He's probably going to go back to this later in the chapter. Uh, I hope. Or unless we go back to this in a later chapter. But anyway, we're moving away from it. Dome Interior Treasure Repository. Okay, so this is a, 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 a I almost said a Roshimaru. A Roshi. A Roshi Mas Naruto. <laughs> I can't believe I called a Roshi a Roshimaru. That's funny. Um, is that a Shamisen? That's absurd. We're in a war zone. What kind of trick is this? It's coming from the next room. Okay, so Roshi slid the uh, doors open. He's taking a look. Ugh, it's bright. Someone's here. Is it an enemy? Did they trick me? Did they track me down? What? Ko... Komarasaki! Oh! Oh! So she showed up. Interesting. So, my friends, we finally have the answer to who it was that was... Remember that scene? That scene several chapters ago. Like, oh my gosh, I can't even remember how many chapters ago it was. But there was a scene where after all the samurai were, like, taken, transported down lower in Onigishima by law to uh, recover. They were in this, like, dark room where they couldn't see anything. But someone seemed to be tending to their wounds. We didn't know who it was. All we knew is it was a female figure. And then... This figure just disappeared, and we were left with a false image created by uh, Kanjiro of Odin. But ever, but I'm sure all of us had been wondering who was that mysterious figure that sh appeared, and now we know that it was Kamurasaki, or as she's actually known as Hayori. All right, so we're scrolling down here. God, am I dreaming, or did I pass to the other side? I've, I've yearned for you every night since that, since what happened. I couldn't get you out of my head. Likewise, my lord. All I want is for us to spend the rest of our lives together. If this is a dream, I don't want to wake up. And that's how the chapter ends. Wow. I can't believe it ends there. Damn. It's... I love Wano so much. This is like turning out to be such an amazing arc for One Piece. I am like enjoying almost every chapter, except for that one chapter, which I refuse to name or talk about ever again. You know the one I'm talking, referring to. The worst chapter in Wano. But that's all that's behind us now. Well, uh, it's sort of behind us now. Uh, we still have a little bit more to cover of that, but I'm just trying to forget that existed and just move on because the story we're getting right now is absolutely fantastic and I am so in love with it. And uh, send it on over to Melba. Yeah, I know what you mean, Melba. That was a pretty shitty place to leave Zoro, but 
Hopefully it's leading to something really impressive. I think we're finally, maybe, maybe getting close to uh, the end or getting, yeah, cl getting close to the end of Zoro and Sanji's fights. That there's a lot of setup that's been done to reach this point. But I think we're finally getting there. It's like, I don't think there's too much more to their fights left. So like Sanji's pretty much set up to finish his. Zoro, I think it's it's tricky. He might have to wait for a little bit longer, but I also think that he is set up to finish his. So we'll probably be getting to that soon. Ish. You never know with Oda Man. I mean, for all we know, it could be like, alright. Okay, so um I'm sure we're all aware that there is a massive, massive flashback coming with Kaido. Because there has to be, right? Kaido is so integral to the world of One Piece. So there's going to be a flashback sh showing his history. It doesn't even have to be that long, but showing some of his history with the Rocks Pirates. And it's coming, and I guarantee you, it is happening before this arc is over. But I, I think when it's going to happen is it's probably going to happen after Zoro... After all the, the, the smaller fights are done. Like, after... Zoro's fight's done, Sanji's fight's done, Raizo, um, you know, all the other characters that aren't Luffy. Once all their fights are done, Luffy goes in, really getting into it with Kaido, and, like, and maybe, oh my gosh, could you imagine if there was this cliffhanger? I just thought of something. Imagine if it's like Kaido and Luffy are fighting, and Kaido's like, raw, 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 raw. you're a bit stronger than I thought, Straw Hat. And Luffy's like, you think this is something? You haven't seen anything yet. I'm gonna show you something new. And then he goes, and maybe he's like, and he's like, yeah. And he's, he's saying something, and like he's acting he's, like he's transforming, but we don't see anything. And then, several years ago, Kaido joined the Rocks Pirates. And then, and then it's like, <laughs> you know, I really feel like that would happen. That Oda would do that. It's like, all right, here we go. This is Luffy's going into the final battle. All the other battles have been resolved. Luffy, Kaido, here we go. Several years ago, kind of, I, I just have a feeling that that's when he'd do that. Um, he might he might save it until after Luffy's battle with Kaido, but I think I think he would do it before. Um, but either way, big flashback with Kaido is coming. I absolutely guarantee that. Uh, but enough about that. Let's go, and we are going to go through the chapter and see what we can see here. Oh my gosh, I, 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 I really got to take this in, guys. Because there was so much covered in this chapter. It's like there's so much to talk about. There's so much to think about. Like, oh my gosh, so many characters. Okay, guys, I've looked over the chapter again. And wow, I'm just going to I'm just gonna try to scroll through the pages, take it all in, and then really, you know, give you my thoughts on it. It starts out with Marco and Izo flying around and they're like worried about the yokai the strange thing that Kondro created not that they know that Kondro created it but yeah this crazy creature coming around and then we see Big Mom for like one panel and it's like I am here everyone just wanted to let you know that I'm part of the story for some reason I'm like okay get a little foreshadowing for later I mean just just it, it's just like I think I would have just wanted a shot of Marco flying over Onigashima, and he's like, you know what, well, you yeah, throw in a little Big Mom there, you know what, why not, why not uh, throw in a little Big Mom there, and then, uh, that's it, that's all Big Mom you get for this chapter, it's just, that's what, Mar that's what Marco's flying. That, I noticed that happens a lot in this arc, more so than any other arc in the history of One Piece. Were there that many damn scenes in Marineford? There are multiple characters, not just Luffy, because Luffy was running around, but I'm talking about more than Luffy multiple characters luffy several others they were just running around marine fort and then it's like coming across oh i just happen to see there an there's an animal fighting over there and this the, oh this guy's fighting over here it's like there were a lot of battles in marine fort and there was a lot of chaos but it didn't feel like everyone was running all over the place which is what this feels like there was no other one piece arc that's quite been like this where the characters are like oh i just ran past big mom oh and there's kaido i just ran past kaido oh get the, hey look i'm running past this guy yeah and i'm also running They're, everyone's running all over the place it's 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 kind of ridiculous to be honest with you um so yeah it's, it's, and then margo they're flying but then uh 
Okay, yeah, I, I definitely didn't see that x Drake and Apu would follow Yamato. And of course, x Drake's just cult following Apu because Apu is following Yamato. Um, and then, of course, you've got the number who does not look like... I was a little concerned at one point, like, oh, what if that number is mean and he's going to attack Yamato? But no, it does not look like uh, that is the case at all. They're running alongside him with a happy grin on their face, um, leading more to that theory that this is possibly one of Yamato's um, friends, her samurai friends from years ago that have been turned into a number, which is possible. It's possible that happened. Um, either way, it is interesting that this one looks very interested in Yamato. Anyway, they were running around, and I was so happy. I was absolutely thrilled to see that we're going to see more of Robin and Brooke. Because that was a huge thing in the previous chapter, where we saw that they had been, ch they were getting chased by the CP0. And it was so shocking to see the CP0 do anything. Because people, you need to understand. What had we seen the CP0 do? Actually do up until this point. Think back to Dressrosa. What exactly did they do? They showed up. They pretty much said, just want to let you know that bit about um, Do Flamingo, Don Quixote being, you know, take, kicked out of the Warlords is not true. He's still in the Warlords. Because that was there to, you know, throw off Law's whole scheme back then. But, and then after that, they were scheming something in the end, but it never came around to it. They never did anything after that, really, for the most part, other than observation. So, yeah, they were going to Dressrosa to do something, but they, they, they never got around to it. But, at any rate, okay, fast forward all the way to Wano. So these guys show up on Wano. What did they do? They were talking to Rochi, talking about weapons, and talking about t -t talking around, just talk, 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 talk. And then they go, and they sit down, and they get out their damn... Um, was it a go board or a shogi? It's go. It's go. It's go board. Um, but yeah, or whatever board. It's a board game. The point is, it's a board game. Okay, I, I can't remember what game they were playing. Okay, but they get out of board game and they're like, okay, moving their piece around. It's like, oh, it's straw hat crew and um, samurai and all that. And they're like, okay, this is how this is going. This is how this is going. The most interesting that happened was when they talked to Rob Lucci and Rob Lucci was like, you need to get Nico Robin. And I was like, oh shit. It's like, but I, you know, it's funny because I really didn't think they were going to do something for a while. Like, it, they got their orders, but I, for some reason I was under the illusion that they wouldn't for a bit. And then they just show up next to Robin. They're like, they're like chasing him. They're like, I was like, oh my gosh, not only they're standing now, they're walking now. Guys, we're fucked. I think we're fucked, guys. <laughs> and, and now they're actually getting into real fights. Like, I seriously didn't think we were ever going to see these guys do anything. They were just sitting around in their stupid chairs for so long. Or whatever they were sitting in. Anyway. Okay, um, so yeah, we got a nice little scene of them diving in on Robin. And then getting their butts handed to them by the yokai. And getting burned. But, you know, you, get, you gotta admit, these guys are adorable. They, they took that fiery attack, landed on the ground, got straight back up. And then they landed a pretty devastating blow on um, Apu there. Which at first I was like, damn, how strong are these guys? Did they just did they just knock out Apu or kill Apu? I mean, oh, I said the word kill. Well, no one ever dies in One Piece, so no, they can't kill Apu. Um, other than Ace and Whitebeard, but anyway. Anyway, I digress. Not gonna get into that. That's that's bad stuff. This was a great chapter. So let's 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 all try to stay pos stay positive about it. Okay. So um, Yamato overhears that this thing is gonna go down. This thing can go through walls, and it's headed for the armory. It's gonna blow up the whole island. So this this I I really like this a lot. I really am enjoying this because this this puts Yamato in a big conundrum here because it's like. How do you stop that? Like, seriously, how do you stop something like that from happening? This thing can go through walls, and it's flammable, and it's headed for the armory. How can you stop something like that? Now, it looks like she has a plan, because she actually is talking to one of the numbers here. Hold on. Where is it? Where is it exactly? Okay, hold on. I, I went past it. 
Do, do, do. Where is it? Do, do, do. Okay, okay. She says, Fuga, I need your help. This whole island will be gone. Fuga, I need your help with something. Okay. Now, here's what I think she's going to say. She's basically going to tell Fuga to smash a big hole in the ground, which would allow her to go down to the lower levels without finding the stairs or whatever. That's what I think she's going to do. Of course, that might be taking a big risk because what's going to happen if you smash down there and, you know, his club hits the explosives and stuff? I don't know. Um, but anyway, that's what I think she's going to do. She's going to be like, smash the ground! I gotta get down there and get this stuff out of there! Um, this feels like a battle she can't win, which makes it all the more exciting. Um, anyway. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's so good. Um, but anyway, we've got Brooke doing a very good pose here, standing up, basically telling Robin, okay, they're, they're burned. They're burned, which is definitely good for us, but we need to go. We need to go now, like right now, because they're going to stand up like the damn Terminator and they're going to come come for us. It's like, <laughs> and, and Brooke's just like, Robin, Robin, come with me if you want to live. Okay, but yeah. Um, so Apu, you know, being an information man, he's taking their pictures and being like, "Oh, hey, look at this, CP0. You guys aren't supposed to be here. Ooh, wait till Morgan finds out about this." And something happened after that that really surprised me, where they deck Apu in the face. I'm like, what the hell? Like, so much stuff happened in this chapter that I didn't see coming at all. I'm so loving it. Nah, 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 nah. I love One Piece. But yeah, he gets down, and then it looks like Drake's going to have to fight the CP0, and then Apu just blows this guy away. I'm wondering where the other CP0 are, though. I'm really wondering where the rest of them are, because... what? Why is it just two? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Going back, going back. Going back to the very, the very moment that, yeah, we only see two. We only see two members of CP0. Where are the, where are the others? I don't get it. At any rate, um, but yeah, Apu lands a pretty good attack on CP0, and we get a pretty awesome shot of Apu and X-Ray teaming up to take on CP0. I really I really am liking this a lot. Um, so this might be the fight we're getting, and if this is the fight we're getting, Apu and X-Drake versus the CP0 guys, hell yeah. I absolutely want this. I did find it funny how X-Drake is like, wait, are you still alive? And Apu's like, I've got armament hockey, you idiot! <laughs> it's like, you're still alive? Yeah, armament hockey, bro. <laughs> Okay, and then of course we finally get to the Zoro part. Man, this this chapter is so so chock full of good stuff. I really enjoy it a lot. Okay, so we get to the part with Zoro and that hilarious part where you know he's uh, <laughs> where um, King is pulling his head back and he like shoots it out. <laughs> it looks hilarious too. The part where he's pulled it back as far as it'll go. It looks. So Silly. It honestly looks like something that you would see on the Looney Tunes, I think. But yeah, Zoro part. Um, what did you think of this? Uh, what do you think of this part, Melba? Well, the, the going out, we're going over it again. Yeah, he's definitely going to have to pull out some new trick of his, much like Luffy will have to against Kaido, I'm sure. Alright, so yeah, I, I, I like the name of the attack, Tempora Udon. It's a pretty, pretty funny uh, name for an attack, honestly. Um, but yeah, couldn't block it. It was like an air, it was like a beam. And then of course, he keeps trying to do attacks that will um, land, but none of his attacks can hit. 
Dragon Twister hits, but is easily blocked by King. And then King comes in with a sword attack. Launching Zoro into some rocks like it's nothing. I don't think I can win without knowing what he is. Shimishin? A Shimishin? No way. So yeah, something is like draining Zoro's... He's just draining Zoro's arm away, which is a real shame. <laughs> I like the way I said that, but a real shame. But yeah, something's draining Zoro's arm away, and it's just looking all bony and messed up. And I think, in all honesty, I think that this is the moment when Zoro pulls out something big. Like, he, he's got to turn this around. The next time we see Zoro, I think he's going to have something big ready to play against King. Because he's got to The time has come to start turning this around and get it so that he can actually beat King. And then we get the final part of the chapter with uh, Orochi, which I call Hiroshimaru. I cannot get over the fact I call him Orochimaru. <laughs> Why would I do that? I haven't read or watched Naruto in like five years or something. But at any rate, he looks through this crack in this door. And it's Kamurasaki, who of course is Hayori, as we all know. But I really wonder what she's plotting here. Like, she showed herself to him on purpose. Where is this going? A lot of people, including myself, thought that there might be some confrontation between Orochi and Momonosuke. But that never... But no. It's, it's funny. It's actually pretty funny because instead of Momonosuke, we get Momonosuke's sister. So the question is, where does it go from here? Is she just going to talk to him? I know some YouTubers, I think it might have been Joy Boy was theorizing that maybe... What if Momonosuke forgave Orochi? Fixed the horrible thing that had happened to Orochi's family. I, I really don't... I'm not sure. I'm curious where this is going to go. Um, anyway, that's the end of the chapter. Wow. That was great. I don't think I liked it as much as the last chapter. It was still awesome. And honestly, it's, it's probably... The thing about the why I don't like it as much as the last chapter, I still love it. This is still a great... This is like an 8 out of 10. Or maybe a 9 out of 10. I really like this chapter. But something about the last chapter... It just... Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. We've got to go back. But a lot of the stuff that we got in this chapter is stuff that was set up in the previous chapter. So that's probably why I'm like not as into this chapter. Like I said, I still love it. It's still a great chapter of One Piece, but it's not quite as... I just don't like it personally as much as the previous chapter. Still, phenomenal chapter. Um, I, I... I gotta be honest with you guys. I did not... And, and I, I know I say this constantly, but it, I can't help it. Oda forces me to see... He's like got a gun to my head. And he's saying, keep saying I didn't see this coming. Okay, Oda, please, please don't kill me. I, I love One Piece. I love it so much. Um, it's like, I, I promise. I, I, I promise. <laughs> um, I will keep saying this. But yeah, the, the whole X-Drake and Apu thing blew me away. Because... Didn't see that coming, y'all. <laughs> see, I, I tell you, he's got a gun to my head. He's got a gun to my head, and I am just terrified that he's going to pull the trigger, and more one awesome One Piece is going to come out of the gun. But, yeah, that's... Uh, that's really all there was to it. Fantastic. Oh, I love the art on Soro's Dragon Twister. Ka Kawasutra Great Dragon Twister. That was... um. Great art there. I love that all the lines are moving. Return of Kamurasaki. I bet a lot of people didn't see that one coming. But still, it is something that Hayori can do that's greatly to her advantage because Orochi, he doesn't know that they're one of the same. He knew, coming from Kanjiro's spying, he knew that Hayori was alive, but he didn't know that Hayori and Kamurasaki were like one and the same person. So yeah, this is <laughs> this is interesting stuff. Anyway, that's it for One Piece this week. 
Um, I'm glad the video is ending now because last week my Hero Academia was brutal because I reviewed not only the chapter, I talked about several chapters, reviewed the last chapter, and reviewed the movie. So that was brutal. I brought two animals in. It was insane. I bit off way more than I could chew. Hopefully this one will be better. But anyway, I'd just like to, you guys, to thank you guys for watching these videos because they don't get many views. But I am hoping that, hoping that maybe someday I'll get a decent amount of people that like these videos. I'd just like to give Melba the last word and then I will see you guys in the next My Hero. <laughs> um, I don't think we're on break. I don't think we're on, we'd be on break that soon. I don't think we're on break. It doesn't always say for me. I don't know if that's the translation or what's going on there. But like sometimes it just won't tell me when it's going on break. Sometimes it will, but sometimes it won't. Um, but yeah, if One Piece is not on break, then I will see you next time for more One Piece. Melba, take us out.